Hey, welcome everybody to Bicycle World. My name is Dean Henthorne, and this is the first bike we get to test in 2012. It is the new Scott Spark 29 lineup. And what makes this new, or what makes this so cool, is that first of all, it's a four inch travel or 100 mil travel on both ends of the bike. And this is a new lineup for Scott. Again, going full suspension both ends. Obviously, uh, you know, in the 29er market, which is super hot right now. What I liked about this bike, first of all, it's the middle of their lineup. Now, this Spark lineup has what they call, at the very top end is the RC, which is the Swiss, uh, the Swiss team races on it, full carbon bike. You can build up that full suspension bike at 22.9 pounds. That's everything but pedals. This one is right in the middle of their lineup. It's called the Elite. It's the Spark Elite 29. And we tested it because this is what I can consider every man's bike. And it comes with a kind of the basic Grupo, and it has a really great price point. It's a $2,400 bike. And having ridden a lot of high-end bikes, low-end bikes, a little bit in between, we were really excited because this is our first four-inch travel dual suspension 29 bike. So let's get right into it. Let's talk about the component groups that come on this thing. First of all, on the front end, it starts with a Reba 29 fork. It's a solid fork. It's 100 mil. It's got a full lockout. It's a full air chamber, uh, adjustable compression on it. We found just by using the recommended pressure that comes with the bike setup, it was dialed in. All we had to do was mess with the compression a little bit, a couple clicks here, a couple clicks there, and it was dialed off and running. Same with the, with the rear. This is actually a DT Swiss shock, and just like on the front, we went by the air compression um, suggestion guide, and the sag was almost perfect right out of the box. All we did was mess a little bit with the rebound, and we got this bike dialed in. In less than 10 minutes, this thing was dialed and really ready to go. The cockpit right out of the box fit me to a T. This is a large frame on a six foot tall rider and there was almost zero adjustment. All we did was adjust the height of the saddle and that's really unheard of and it may not fit uh, the same way for you but it's a great fitting bike right out of, the, out of the gate. Let's talk about some of the shifters now. First of all, it's a complete Shimano uh, build kit and it has an SLX front shifter. It comes with a XT derailleur and LX front derailleur and XT rear derailleur. So it's not a bad Grupo, especially again at the $2,400 price point, it's a solid build, you can't complain. It's got XT cranks, which are super solid, and the gearing on this bike is a three by 10. So they go to the Shimano 10 speed cassette and gave you three rings up front. Now virtually all their bikes you can configure in some different ways, like two by 10s if you really want to, but I prefer, I still like a three ring front, uh, maybe I'm old school. Anyway, solid group. Um, the Manitou is going to be interesting to see how it lasts and how it rides because I've never ridden the, the DT Swiss, excuse me, not Manitou, the DT Swiss shock, um, but we're willing to try it out. Okay, so what is our verdict on this scale, on this, excuse me, the Spark 29er? First of all, it's got an excellent price point, $2,400, you get a ton of bike. Dual suspension, full Avid disc brakes, hydraulic disc brakes, you get a decent component group, um, you get all of the live action of a fully active bike, you also get the ability to twin lock, which is their big, again, their big selling point. And this thing worked like a charm. I was blown away. Yeah, it's an extra piece of wire up here. It's another gadget on my handlebars, but you know what? A lot of times this is gonna save my bacon and it actually made the ride more enjoyable. Shortcomings of the bike, tires. Not a big fan of these tires out here in Arizona, but where you, where you ride, they may work. So I'm gonna let you choose a tire that's specific for your area. Scott seat, it was a little bit hard, not the most comfortable seat I've ever ridden on, but I've ridden on worse as well. You swap that out to your favorite seat and you'll have this bike dialed in. Can I recommend this? Absolutely. Bicycle World gives this thing a big two thumbs up because of the value proposition and the fact that it weighs 27 pounds and rides like a dream. Man, this thing is fast, it descends well, the 29 inch wheels go over a lot of stuff. You know, you're not going to carve up a slalom course on it like you are a 26er, but uh, for the features that it has, it's an outstanding value. And that's one of the tips that I'll leave with you. Great value, make sure you check one of these things out. Go to your local Scott dealer, ask them for a demo ride. Have a great day. Tell them Bicycle World sent you.